In this video, we're just going to go through some simple examples. Uh, the classical approach to probability requires that the outcomes are, uh, well, equally likely. Like, so when you flip a coin, you kind of have to assume that um, there's a 50-50 chance, right, that you get heads or tails. So the probability of heads is one half. The probability of tails is one half. Another example would be uh, rolling a six-sided die. You have to agree that all of the dots on the die are equally likely. You need that uh, for the classical approach to probability. So equally likely is the correct answer. Next question. As the procedure is repeated again and again, the relative frequency of an event tends to approach the actual probability. Right, right. So like um, if you flip a coin uh, two times, um, you're not going to get heads and then tails. Even though the probability is one half, it's not going to happen that way in the real world. What it's saying is, in the long run, if you keep flipping the coin forever, in the long run, you should get your mathematical probability. So there should be a 50-50 chance in the long run, right, for the coin flip. So this procedure, this, this, this idea is called the law of large numbers. Okay, it's called the law of large numbers. And again, it says that as the procedure is repeated again and again, take a simple coin toss, right, um, the relative frequency, so your actual results approach the actual probability. That's called the law of large numbers. And let me click check answer. All right, that's it.